Welcome Aquarians, Aquarians, Aquarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. All right, Aquarians. So, so, so. Aquarians, what we're seeing here, and we are going to be filling in as we go forward. Okay, so what are we seeing here, Aquarians? The energy of the love. This is powerful, um, powerful alignment of energy. Um, the energy of the lover is here in the, the first week of water energy. Second week is a water energy. First week is your best week. Um, temperance is here and um, the eye princess. Now, Aquarius, what is happening and transpiring? You can see some sort of an emotional situation that is going to be coming up. Seeing the truth about your relationship, trying to find balance. The energy of the eye princess is the energy of the month okay so be aware of this and uh, you are going to be realizing and um, what is coming out so it's a very emotional month um for you um aquarians and you will be dealing with um relationship marriage marriage soulmate relationship and marriage is going to be affecting you aquarians so be aware of this and um, how this is going to be transpiring. Some of you, if you're in relationship with a Cancer or a Gemini or a Scorpion, there is going to be some sort of issues that is going to be affecting your life. So check out the love reading. Secrecy is coming out in the fourth week, okay? So you have water, water, water. Two last week is a water week, but you have temperance, balance, um, that is going to be coming up. Some sort of an issue and some sort of a information is going to be coming out. So be aware. So the energy of the lovers has to do with someone that tried to use their powers over you. Seeing the truth about a situation that is going to be coming to an end. Some sort of information come out in um, um, the third week that you need to find balance. Whatever the information is that come out in the third week, you need to find balance. Then we have... a. Um, the energy of the star. So it's as if your intuition is going to be very, 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 very high. Um, and the last week is going to be one of your best week. So the energy of the lovers in the, the first week, you have to do with some sort of a contract, uh, some sort of a negotiation in the first week, some sort of a, um, a merger or collaboration in the first week. And um, whatever you were worried about, it's going to be okay. All right. So your worries is going to be, um, over. So if you were worried about a contract, whether or not you were going to be getting this job or getting, um, this contract is going to be a yes, it's going to be okay. You are going to be powerful, um, dealing with the situation. Some of you are working in order to balance out some sort of a financial situation in the family. Um, this is going to be good. Some sort of a family issue is going to be coming up in um, the first week of October that has to do with your marriage or your partner or your kid's father and that sort of a situation. So we see um, work situation and family situation is going to be coming up in the first week. As we look at the second week, what we're seeing is that um, you men, um, um, men between the age of 18 and 45, some sort of information is coming out, um, about you guys or, um, some of you are finally seeing the truth about your marriage, um, about your relationship and your marriage. Um, you men were hoping for some sort of a new start, um, some sort of a new offer, some sort of a new start for your family. Um, you were hoping for this. I see this in is in reverse. Some of you could be looking for a job and was open to receive this job offer. Um, it's not going to be happening. Um, and um, young people between the age of eighteen and forty five is having some sort of a issues with the family. So be aware. Then um, we see the energy of disappointment. No disappointment. Some sort of information come out. And you are not really disappointed over whatever the information is that came out. You're not really disappointed. You're happy that the information came out. Peace is um, 
um, whatever is happening and transpiring, there is some sort of a situation where there need to be some peace in a situation um, to come in. So um, you're working with dualities. Um, a lot of you could be having some sort of an issue um, with the Aries and uh, um, the Aquarians, the Aries and the Aquarians. Some sort of information came out in the third week um, that is going to be affect that you are glad that this information about this Libran came out. It is as if uh, whatever that was happening and transpiring, finally peace come in. Um, then I see that some of you need to stand your ground. Um, whatever is happening, st stand your ground no matter what is coming out and happening in the fourth week. You need to stand your ground. I see pleasure. There is no pleasure moment in this week because it's as if, oh my God, all your, um, <laughs> nearly all your cards are in reverse. So, um, be aware of this and what is happening and transpiring. So October for you Aquarian seems to be, um, some sort of a, it's as if you're tilling the soil. You're tilling the soil because we see the sacred chakra. So you're taking back your power. You're tilling the soil, taking back your power. And love is going to be coming in. Um, there was some sort of a deceptive situation that was happening in love. Um, a, a whole lot of uh, you, if you were looking for soulmate twin flame relationship, um, it is going to be a month. Thir um, 33 energy has to do with the soulmate relationship energy, but also you're taking back your power from a relationship or, or someone that was um, accessing and taking your power. It's a very, very powerful month. You have 33, 8 and 2. 33, 8 and 2. And you are working with a solar plex chakra. Wear a lot of orange um, in this month. Some sort of a deceptiveness that has transpired. If you were in a relationship with a Leo, you're going to be finding out some sort of a cheating. Um, some sort of a cheating went on um, with um, a Leo. So if you're in a, a relationship, some sort of a cheating um, happened. Okay, you're going to be finding out some sort of a cheating that has transpired with a Leo. So you got to be aware of the situation and how... Um, people around you. It's duality also. Whatever is transpiring, there's a whole lot of duality, a whole lot of you are dealing with an Aries um, and a Libran in the family. Aries and a Libran in the family. There is some sort of a situation with a Scorpion that some of you are dealing with. You've got to be on top of your game and know what is happening, who these people are and how this is happening. This month is going to be affecting um, the people between the age of 18 and 45, but it's as if you have no regrets. You have no regrets with a situation with a, um, with, with, with some sort of a secrecy that was, uh, was held. It's as if you are like, I'm ending this because I'm going to be speaking up about what is happening, what has transpired. And I see you're making the right decision. It's as if you realize that some real false play had transpired and happened. And you're like, I'm getting out of this. I'm making the decision, getting out of this and taking my power back. Because it's as if some of you were um, just being really, people were just... Uh, um, you know, rolling over some of you and some of you are like, yeah, this is enough. Enough is enough. I'm handing this. It's not happening. I don't want to do this anymore. And you speak up. You gave out some sort of information about a Libran and you have created some sort of a balance for yourself in this world because you realize that um, a situation has gone too far and you needed to regain some sort of a um, um, positive alignment of energy on a situation that was happening and transpiring. It was as if, yeah, this has gone too far. I am going to be stepping in this situation and is going to be figuring out how I am going to be resolving some sort of an issue because I'm not taking this, uh, I'm, you know, releasing myself of this uh, issue, problem or person. So this is really good. So it could be, it is definitely, and it's not going to be, could be, there is definitely some sort of a relationship problems that is going to be coming up and transpiring. But I see you're going to be trying to resolve it in the best possible way 
in order to release yourself out of some sort of a problem or a situation and that is good so wow so i i, I see um it's as if some of you smart up smart up and it's going to be um resolving this so some of you could have been in um in a manipulating relationship someone who use their powers over you okay some of you definitely some sort of a um, situation would work you were worried about some sort of a situation would work but that is going to be coming good some of you are working on some sort of a family issues that you were dealing with now the energy of the lover is showing up something and you are going to be finding out about some sort of a false fail some sort of a secrecy about your partner is going to be coming out or about a family member so it could be your mother father or your partner now it is going to be affecting the people between the age of 18 and 45 um finally you're seeing the truth about a partner or about a family member and what has happened and transpired finally um especially the people between the age of 18 and 45 is going to be finding that out seeing the truth of a family member and what has transpired now um um, people, especially the people in uh, between the age of 18 and 45 is going to be seeing some sort of a truth about a, a um, situation that you were open for. Some sort of an offer would work. You were hoping for this offer would work, but you're going to be finding out some sort of a situation that was plain that you were not aware of. Some of you are dealing with um, some sort of a, um, information that you should have received um about um an offer of work um and you're going to be finding out that an aries had something to do with it an aries had something to do with it and you were you're like you know i'm you know just get out of my way i don't want to deal with you anymore um you're going to be re realizing that an aries is a really really sick a, really a sick person and you're going to be walking away from this person or walking away from this because it's a family member seeing the truth you're trying to work on an issue in a situation with family and you're finally seeing the truth that these people you know you're really realizing that you're wasting your time with these people and i see you're going to be walking away and leaving this behind you okay as we look at the second week the energy of the angman is showing up something about some sort of a collaboration some sort of a um you know something at work something that you are working on you're going to be finding out how um to um create some sort of a positive alignment of energy and this is definitely going to be good and you're going to be finding out or showing up something that was going on where you're going to be finding out that your partner could be cheating some sort of uh unpleasant situation it could be for someone else or someone else could be telling you about your partner has been cheating on you but this is really it's as if yeah you know i think the universe uh, was meant that this that i would find out what is happening and you took it and you understand and you are going to be taking back your power from this person so some of you could have been in a, a manipulating relationship and this person was manipulating you but at the same time this person was really playing on your emotion and you're going to be finding this out and trying to release yourself from this situation and that is good as we change um um seasons and going in the um the scorpion season we see temperance and this is an earth energy we see temperance and temperance is really coming up and um you're balancing out some sort of a, a situation because you're finding out the truth something that you were not aware of has come to light and you are finally opening up and balancing out the truth you're balancing out whatever the problem the issue and the situation is you have no regrets it's as if some of you open up your hands and said listen i'm tired of this i'm gonna tell the truth i want to get out of this i don't need to have this moving on moving forward in my life because this is going to be creating some sort of an issue and i see by um just opening up and just speaking up about whatever the situation is it's going to be returning 
um, as you go to the month of November, it is going to be returning your stability and your power. There is some sort of a situation that some of you were dealing with with a Libra, and you are going to be just speaking up. You're going to be um, um, just taking back your power. This is about taking back your power. And as you move in the month of November, you're just going to be taking back your power because you open up your hands and said, listen, this is it. I don't want to be... Um, I have no secrets. This is it. This is what was happened. This is what has transpired. This is how it is. Okay. As you come, which is, this is powerful, especially for psychic people. The last week is going to be really powerful. It's as if your psychic is going to be tripling, doubling up your energy, your ship of energy. You're going to be receiving things from your guides and angel. Your psychic is just going to be over it, especially People who are working on the 33 um, uh, um, frequency and with the Ascendance Master, this is just going to be absolutely powerful because your psychic is going to be on like a top level. Your psychic is going to be going and you're going to be regaining your powers from someone who was manipulating some of you. Some of you were just being manipulated and you're going to be making a decision because you were indecisive, but you're going to be decisively making a decision and taking back your power. And this is going to be good because this is going to be creating positive alignment of energy where people are going to be understanding what has been happening, how this situation has been affecting you in a personal way and how you are going to be creating um, positive alignment of energy that is going to be um, creating some sort of a movement in your world where you decide to hear and no further and not doing this. This is not align with my energies and I need to get out of this. Okay. So that is going to happen. So with the energy of um, um, your marriage and people who are in marriage and long-term relationship, I see you're trying to figure out how to work on a marriage and a long-term relationship. This is going to be transpiring and happening. I see situation with family situation. Some of you are going to be finally finding out the truth about a Libran and a Aries, a Libran and an Aries. You're going to be giving up a Libran and an Aries and I was speaking up about um, some of you could find out that the Libra and the Aries have been seeing each other. You're going to be giving them up and speaking um, up about whatever has been happening and transpiring. And this is going to be good. And uh, in the first week, the energy of the month, you're having the energy of number 33. Number 33 is about love and powerful love. So you could be dealing with family people and that sort of a situation that is coming up. Then when we look, I see some sort of an indecisiveness, but you're going to be definitely making a decision um, in this month. Whatever indecisiveness there was, there is, you definitely are going to be making the decision in this month. And then I see you're going to be taking back your power um, in this month, and it's going to be very, very good um, because you're taking back your power. If you notice, there is a lot of dualities, especially as you get to the last end of the month, there's a lot of dualities, there's a situation. You're going to be finding out something about the family, about an Aries, a Libran, and a Scorpion. The connection with an Aries, Libran, and a Scorpion, you're going to be finding out uh, that these people in the family have created some sort of a um, um, situation to control some of you and you're going to be taking back your power and you're going to be happily taking back your power and recognizing um, as this, the, 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 the play that was happening with these people and how these people try to control your life. So the month you have number 33 um, energies and 33 is all about love okay three and three is six love and materialistic well balancing the scale learning how you balance the scale between the spirit world and the material world and this is going to be good for you guys then we see indecisiveness you're definitely releasing that and taking back your power this is going to be good so whatever that was transpiring, especially with you people, um, divorce could be coming up for people between the age of 18 and 45. Some sort of a divorce could be coming up. Um, um, some sort of information comes out where you reach an agreement that is better that you part ways. Um, the hangman energy is coming up where some of you find out some sort of a secrecy 
with a scorpion whoever the scorpion is their secret is out people are going to be finding out so some sort of a secrecy that was kept or a secrecy that was old again some of you secrecy about a scorpion is going to be coming out balance is going to be coming in when you decide to stand your ground so you're leaving this we this month of uh, october going into november regaining your balance because you're seeing clearly of a situation about the family that you were not um seeing clearly it can be the family it can be people who you consider your family and now you are regaining your balance and finding out what exactly what was happening and transpiring and this is going to be so cool it's going to be so good because people are going to be aligned and ready to show up it's as if people are going to be aligned aligning themselves be ready showing up um for a, some sort of a situation that was happening and transpiring and being um clear about uh, what is coming up and how this is affecting their world and i see that this is um, going to be an absolutely extremely powerful month because whenever you're taking back your power that means you no longer is going to be given another person your power over you so your frequency is a 33 frequency um unexpected um stability is going to be coming in wonderful alignment of energies is going to be here um, uh, um absolutely fa fantastic uh, um situation is going to be created where you're recreating your life recreating and taking back uh, your powers um and moving forward so congratulations please thumbs up thumbs up these videos um leave a message as to how this is going remember um there is an extended to this read it if you want to see the extended of this really you can um join the channel it's just a dollar 99 to see the extended of this reading okay i want to say i love you guys so much it is good that you're taking back your powers um be aligned with the energies and i will speak to you next time